Welcome back to the final installment of the first LEGO League Trash Trek Global Challenge release. I'm Michelle Long, bringing you the latest on this year's theme, learning about what happens to our trash. Previously, we reported on the challenge theme and the project. We turn now to first LEGO League engineer and game designer, Scott Evans, to give us the lowdown on this year's robot game. Thanks, Michelle, and hello to our teams around the globe. The robot game takes concepts from the world of trash and challenges you to think about the problems, processes, and technology you might encounter. We work with designers from LEGO and topic experts from our challenge advisory team to come up with a game I think you'll really enjoy. Before we get started, though, I want to stress to you how important it is to read the challenge document and reread it every week if you can. That goes for you too, veteran teams. This year has been an epic overhaul to the robot rules. Make sure you understand what's changed and don't rely on your memory from previous seasons. What kind of changes are we talking about? We're talking a 60% reduction in words and a 30% reduction in the number of rules. The goal is to streamline and simplify so that everyone reads and understands. Sounds great. Now I know the teams are eager to see the game. Can you walk us through the missions? I sure can. In no particular order, these bars represent material. The blue and yellow bars are recyclable, the black are not. The blue and yellow bars can be sorted into the green bins and sold. Black bars are not considered recyclable. They have to end up in a green bin or the dumpster. Any bars that have been disturbed from setup condition and aren't in a green bin or the dumpster by the end of the match are gonna cost you points. Mission one, using recycled material. These are transfers. There's one at east and one at west. The robot loads the transfer with the green bin containing the proper colored bar. Then the teams have a chance to trade. Mission two, methane. Methane is worth points when delivered to the truck's engine compartment or to the factory's power station. Mission three, transport. Here's the transport system. The truck is pushed along this guide and it accepts the yellow bin on the way by and if it keeps getting pushed, it dumps the yellow bin. It's worth points when the truck supports all of the yellow bin's weight. It's also worth points if the yellow bin is completely east of the truck's guide. Mission four, sorting. The sorter is preloaded with black and blue bars, but you can add yellow ones as you play. The wheel in front is spun and the sorter begins its work. Bars go down the chute and separate out based on their size into the green bins. Mission five, careers. Simply get one or both of the people to the sorter area and get points for that. You'll also earn the special bonus of being able to unjam the sorter by hand. Mission six, scrap cars. There are two options for the car. One is to fold it up and bring it to the east transfer. Another is to install the engine and windshield in the proper direction and consider the car restored. Mission seven, clean up. Plastic bags need to be cleaned up. There are two of them. One is in the sorter and one is threatening the animal's environment. These bags are worth points in safety at the end of the game. Animals are worth points if they're completely in a circle with no plastic bag in that circle. Also, there's a bonus for putting the chicken in the tiny circle in the landfill area. Mission eight, composting. The composting mission is very simple. Just push the yellow disc east. The thing is, it's gonna take about 20 seconds for the compost to come out. Are you gonna run other missions while you wait for that? or you're gonna stand there and be ready. There are two optional goals. One is to simply get the puck to come out. The other is to have the puck completely in safety. Mission nine, salvage. Move the valuables to safety. Mission 10, demolition. It's worth points to simply demolish the building. But once you've demolished it, you have a lot of materials to deal with. The yellow and blue ones can be used for more points later on. The black ones are liability and have to be dealt with. Mission 11, purchasing decisions. You'd like to buy toys. One toy has lots of packaging, including some black packaging. 
The other toy is harder to get, but it has friendly packaging. It's up to you to decide whether you want to purchase one or both of those toys. Remember, you always have to deal with the black bars. As an exception to the rules this year, you are allowed to take apart the large package. Mission 12, repurposing. If you brought at least one toy to safety, and if you did the composting mission and brought a puck to safety, why not do some repurposing and put the puck in a box to call it a flower pot? You already know black bars in the wrong place can cost you points. That's why they make a great penalty piece this year. When you earn a penalty, the referee's going to add a black bar to the field in an unfavorable spot. Looks like quite a game. Any last bits of advice for our teams? Yeah, if you get stuck or have questions, visit www.forslegalleague.org to locate your regional contacts. But don't get so caught up in your score that you miss the real point. You're not really competing against the other teams out there. You're competing with your personal best. Try not to take things so seriously that you forget to have fun. Thanks, Scott. The Trash Trek season is brought to you in part by First Lego League Global Sponsors, 3M, NI, Rockwell Automation, and of course, Lego. Good luck, teams, and have a great season.